Now let's begin the install. So what I've done for the installation is I've set up this machine on our Google Cloud platform. Now I'm going to check what specifications I have. Now I know in the back end I told Google Cloud Platform that, hey, I want 16 vCPU. And you can see here it says eight core. Um, and let's see the RAM. If I go in here, so it's 16 vCPU. I've got 60 GB of RAM. As you might remember, we needed 32 GB as the minimum recommended. Uh, so now I've got 16 GB of RAM, 60 GB of RAM. So I'm like, oh, yay, that's cool. So I have this machine has internet connectivity, so I could download the server installer directly from here. I can just go to toggle.com slash ESDALT, and that redirects me. And this is server 20. I'll just let's go to the cutting edge. So, and I download the version. It is pretty fast, but still to save some time, I've already installed, downloaded it. So there you have it. And now let's begin the install. So it's as simple as any Windows program you might have done before. Well, the simpler Windows programs you might have had to install. So you just double click it and it opens. Uh, one thing to note, you do have to be administrator on the machine that you're trying to install. Uh, so I have an account which is an administrator account. So that's why I can run this. And uh, there are later steps that require the administrator account. So do, do make sure you have an administrator account on the machine. All right, so these are some handy uh, tips. So I've read and accept the license agreement uh, terms that are there. Well, I can also look at it. I've looked at it before, so I agree with it. You can look at it here and pretty, pretty comprehensive. So let's go next. Uh, you can change the install location. Um, you have the option to. It does have an impact though, which I will show you in a bit. But currently I'm just gonna go with the default install location, which is C program files, tablet, tablet, server. Now the next step, you get this option which says, I want to create a new Tableau server installation, or I want to add an exist additional node to an existing Tableau server cluster. Now, this is important to understand that Tableau with this, this is a newer architecture, which came about one and a half years ago, uh, or a bit earlier as well, actually. Um, and currently Tableau server, you can have a cluster of Tableau server nodes. That is, you can have multiple machines that together work as Tableau server and share the load of running Tableau server on these different machines. In this newer versions, what they do is they use the same installer for all these nodes. So that is because they consider each of the nodes, each of these different machines as peers. So if one of these machines go down, you can easily transfer critical tasks to the other machines. So that is the idea. So that is why it's the same installer. So it's important to know that we are creating a new Tableau server installer. It's not a different node, a different machine that I'm trying to add, but it's a new Tableau server installer. And then I go and says, ooh, your machine meets the system requirements, but for a trial. So I'm like, oh, okay. I thought I'd provided everything, but I am missing the amount of disk space. I have 37 GB, whereas the recommended was 50 GB. Now, as you can see, these are not critical because I'm not meeting the minimum recommendations, but I'm meeting the minimum requirements. That is like the bare minimum the Tableau server requires. So that is fine. Tableau is fine as long as you're above the requirements. But indeed, I do recommend having at least 50 GB free. But since this is a test, that's fine. All right, admin access, there we go. And we start installing. This is gonna take a bit of time. In the meantime, let's run through some other things. 